Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog review. Well, another for 2024, that is. And, and this one's on the uh, Knuckles Guardian mech that is, like, now being released. But yeah. So on the front of the box here, we would have the LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog logos and same border that we've been seeing since last year. And picture of both Knuckles and Rouge in action for the Chaos Emerald and... Age recommendation is 8 and up, set number 76996, has 276 pieces, and still continuing the in-game artwork on the sides, nice to see there. And on the back side, have another picture of the set in action, and a couple of shots of which, and some of the features of the set. And now onto the instructor manual, of which on rendering of it like we've been seeing since 2022. Then transition from plastic bags to paper bags and after the builder app. And then advertisement for the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set and add for rebuild the world. And then all of last year's summer sets and this current wave of sets, which I have reviewed all of, which all on a playlist, but yeah. And then the last building steps of it. So now onto the only two things included with this set. Uh, first up, we would have the first appearance of Knuckles the Echidna, which, as for the uh, headpiece, which done quite good, for, or is really good for how it is. And of course, sideways smirk like the Sonic ones kind of did. And also the uh, torso printing, quite good for how it is. And also basic, and but it works. And as for the leg parts of which, all duly molded with a green print, green and red prints for that. Although I think that there could have been some gray on there as well, since Knuckles has gray bits on his shoes, but whatever. And then also, and the main highlight are these little uh, punching glove pieces, which do look almost like the ones used in the LEGO Dimensions game, but however, the sculpt work of them done quite good for how they are. And of course, they wish a whole separate piece for that. And of course, which you can definitely use on some custom figs if you wanted. And then, and these, and second of which have Rouge the Bat, first time here. And how are her head printing, or head piece of which, the sculpting and printing all looks great for how it is. And torso printing which has the side indents like most female figs for that, but however, it all looks really great for that, and the leg printing also looks great. Like, you have, like, the, like toe printing and everything, nice to see there, and also had the back wings kind of piece, but like we've seen in a collectible minifig series, but in a darkish purple, or just purple, which is great to see here, and also works out really well for that. And on to the back sides, which do have some simple back torso printing for both of each other's tails, and also for a little bit of Rouge's uh, outfit underneath. But however, it's still quite good for how it is. However, so it's two great things to include. Not sure if they might come in other sets eventually, but but however, it's still good to get together in this set. But yeah. And first up for the builds is, okay, is this a little kind of side build for the large green Chaos Emerald, which as for this pedestal that it's on, comprises so mostly a, a 4x4 plate and these uh, wedge bricks around and also a rounded uh, plate to, with the hole in the center to, for it to rest on in these little bits around. And as for the large em Chaos Emerald, which this bottom part, which you probably see in most Disney Princess sets, but however in this 
uh, translucent and sparkly green color. But of course, great to see this kind of piece outside the Disney Princess lines. And same with this piece as well. It can like open up and get uh, two, yeah, two trans green gen pieces, which is nice to see here. And also, when you have the, oh wait, hang on. And when on this is, I was just resting there, not attached to anything. But there was a reason for that, which I'll go over soon. And that's about it for that. And now on to the uh, onto Rouge's uh, glider or something, which built kind of interestingly to that. And of course, consisting of a uh, black, a uh, darkish pink, light pink, and light gray. Oh, it's fitting to Rouge's color scheme, of course. Not sure why she would need this, even though she can already fly, but whatever. But actually, unless, but of course, there's a reference to one game for that. So, like, as for the one side of which, which, as you see, are comprised mostly of these uh, odd kind of plate pieces. Nice to see here. And on hinge plate kind of pieces for them to swing in and outwards and also and this whole build of which kind of on pixel ball joints on there which go all around words and then downwards the engine parts which are these kind of very classic pieces but in this uh, darkish pink color nice to see here which you can definitely use in most mocks if you wanted and, and then as for the top part of which, which is just a, a curved slope piece, but I wish there would have been a sticker on it to, or a control panel or something. I wish they couldn't have done that, but maybe for the price point, couldn't. And of course, have a pair of handlebars for Rouge to hold on to, obviously. And then have this a small version of a a car windshield piece, which is great to see here, of course, and have these pair of classic heart pieces like we've seen in the LEGO Movie 2 line, but representing the nose of a bat, and also the tooth pieces represent fangs of a bat as well, but, uh, which is nice to see here, and how our most of the build is like put upside downwards for this piece, for this little jumper bit to be on there. And Here's the reason for that. You can fly with it and just uh, stick it onto there and take the Chaos Emerald away for that. Oh, which nice thoughtful feature for that thing. And then next to which is the Knuckles Guardian Mech. Now there's also something that you kind of don't see much in any uh, Sonic game for that. Since this is probably like a creation in Lego's mind, probably just as an extra additional build for that, or whatever. But however, the build which is kind of similar to most recent mechs, and of course, like the uh, uh, Marvel and now recent Star Wars mechs, but same pieces from those, but but like twice as much large as compared to those, but yeah. Now start from the ground up like I always do with mechs and figs, or build figures of course, but yeah. Like the feet of which comprise mostly some jagged slopes in both directions and the, and with the snot for a wedge and also some curved slopes and plates on there. Resting out with a gold bar piece in gray and also a couple of loose uh, hinge kind of bits to there. But and the studs representing Knuckles' shoes, which already have studs on them. But yeah. And then as for the legs, of which have these traditional uh, sideways parts like we've seen in the small mech sets. But actually like two of those as well, but quite hollowed for that. Which they could have been filled in, but actually it's kind of workable since it's a mech, not a being. But yeah. And have these uh, curved or rounded plates inwards. Although it would be nice if they were on both sides to make it more finished. But yeah. And then upwards have the uh, traditional uh, Bonicle Hero Factory uh, ball socket joint pieces. This is for that. 
And then leading up to, and now onto the arms here is as you see, which are on traditional mixel ball joints as well, but you also do have these little shoulder bits like we've seen in the recent construction figures from Marvel and DC, of course. But they you know, can go upwards and underneath them, uh, just the uh, hanging brackets, which and not much of anything. And also this mech piece, like we've seen in some of the Jago sets. Then ending up with little hand builds, which are to represent uh, knuckles, uh, punch gloves, I get yet again, with those tooth pieces there. Okay. And now onto the uh, main uh, uh, body part is that, as you can see, does have a quite bit of snot going on for that on both sides with the uh, jagged slopes there, and also do have a pair of stud shooters on both sides, and uh, and also so this classic chair kind of piece in there, and. A little jumper plate to stand knuckles onto, and then have this little little joystick uh, part of it, which of course may have a traditional uh, Star Wars bow droid arm, but in red, nice to see there. And of course, on both sides, you have these little turn kind of builds. They're just made on. They're just printed on Nexo Knights shield pieces. I wish they could have been like actual builds, but whatever. And then also do have these uh, long curved slopes on top of which, which are also on mixel ball joints, but are just free to move. And in the back side of which, which is yet another one, that is just randomly there. Oh, whoops. And also kind of pops off quite easily, so be aware of that. And as for the back side of the mech, oh, which quite a bit, see it's just reverse plates and so on, which is how it usually is like, how some quite are. And of course have rever uh, inverted curved slopes again, of course. So now for the articulation of this, uh, mech is quite standard for most some mechs is got all around in the shoulders and hand all around and you, uh, uh, hips inwards and all around and the ankles which barely have much for that but uh, which that kind of pivot a bit and of course the top flaps can go all around for that so a good bit of articulation here And so now on to the final word. So overall, I think this was a quite good set for how it is. Like, and of course, the main highlight are the two mini figs. So which first time of having both knuckles and rouge, and of course, good to have a piece being used as the large chaos emerald. Of course, although the mecha, which not something prevalent in the in most of the games, but however, this set of which also work out works out as a good parts pack for that. And, but also, and of course, and however, for the uh, price point of which, as in like thirty-two dollars or so, of which I say kind of fair, well, minus the two extra two dollars for that, although, or just even thirty would have been about as much good. But yeah. But however, the uh, mini build of Rouge, I think, or for Rouge, also kind of worked well. But also for that, I think this probably like kind of built aside from both of these builds, yet again, also works out as good parts pack for that. And, 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 of course, and also, uh, what else is there to say? Not much, but yeah. And also. And once again, good to have both of these figs outside of like the Lego Dimensions game, but yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your uh, Lego Sonic the Hedgehog range, then definitely get this set. And if you're looking to have a 
uh, Knuckles and Rouge in your uh, Sonic the Hedgehog minifig collections, then definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.